This video will walk you through how to create and edit assignments for your open learning course. The list of assignments and assessments created for the class can be found by clicking on Assignments from the Navigation menu. The Assignments page lists your open, closed, and scheduled assignments and assessments. You can also reorder the list of assignments by clicking on the assignment name, category, start date, or end date headers. There are a few different ways to create assignments. We will first go over making assignments from the assignments page. To create a new assignment, click on the new assignment button at the top left of the page. There are several types of assignments that can be created for your students to complete. Select online questions to assign an assessment or quiz. For more information on assigning and grading assessments and quizzes, refer to the MH Assess Assign and Grade Assessments resources listed below. Select instructions to create an assignment that requires no submission such as a classroom activity or a project for the students to complete offline. Select Submission to create an assignment that requires your students to upload a file or web address, such as an image, PDF, or Word doc. Select External Tool to create an assignment using a tool outside of the program being used. Some programs include SmartBook or Personalized Practice. This allows you to create a reading or practice assignment to help students maximize their studying of the course. For more information about SmartBook and personalized practice assignments, refer to the SmartBook resources listed below. For instruction, submission, or external tool assignments, enter the assignment name in the title field. Enter any instructions you want the students to read before completing their assignment. You also have the ability to attach files from your computer or import files from Google Drive. For additional information on adding Google Drive files to assignments, refer to the Open Learning Platform Add Google Drive Files to Assignments resource listed below. Click the Continue button to move to the second step of the assignment creation. On the Settings page of the assignment creation, the start date and time will default to the start of the current day. The end date and time will default to the end of the next day. To select different start and end dates and times, click the calendar icon to the right of each field. Select the dates you want and enter the time in the appropriate field you would like to set for the assignment. Click the Apply button to save the changes. If you would like students to have the ability to submit assignments past the due date, click on the checkbox next to Allow Late Submission. This allows students to submit assignments until the class end date that is set in the class settings under Roster. Enter the number of points the assignment will be worth. If you'd rather not have it as a gradable assignment, select the ungraded radio button in the grading type section. The assignment defaults to being visible for students to access in their assignments list. If you would like to hide the assignment from student view, select the hidden radio button in the assignment visibility section. The gradebook category will default to assignment. If you would like to have additional gradebook categories to select, these can be created under the gradebook. For more information on creating different categories, refer to the Open Learning Platform gradebook resources listed below. The rubric used for the assignment will default to the program rubric. Click the Select Rubric button if you would like to use a rubric you have created for the course. For more information on creating rubrics, refer to the rubric resources listed below. The assignment selects all the students in the class by default. To select only certain students to give the assignment to, Click on the pencil icon in the Select Students section. Click on the student names you want to remove from the assignment. Click the Select All or Clear All buttons to add or remove all students from the roster for the assignment. Click the Apply button to save the changes. To provide a specific student or group of students a different end date than the rest of the students for the assignment, click on the Add Extension button. Select the students you want to provide the extension for and the date and time. Click the Add Extension button on the pop-up to save the extension settings. To also share the assignment to Google Classroom, check the box next to Share with Google Classroom. For more information on linking your open learning account with Google Classroom, refer to the Google Classroom resources article linked below. Click the Assign button to save all the settings and create the assignment. You will automatically be sent back to the Assignments page. Another way to create assignments is from the Course page. To assign ebook pages, you will need to do so from this page. Select the chapter and or lesson from the table of contents you want to create the assignment for. Locate the resource you would like to assign and click the Assign button. A third option to create an assignment is from the Course Resource Library. Either enter a keyword in the search field and or click on the magnifying glass. This will navigate you to the Course Resources Library. 
Locate the resource using the available filters on the left and click the Assign button on the resource you want to assign. Keep in mind, not all resources are able to be assigned to students. On the Assignment Settings page, enter an assignment name if you'd like it to be different than what is auto-generated. The start date and time will default to the start of the current day, and the end date and time will default to the end of the next day. To select different start and end dates and times, click the calendar icon to the right of each field. Select the dates you want and enter the time in an appropriate field you would like to set for the assignment. Click the Apply button to save the changes. If you would like students to have the ability to submit assignments past the due date, click on the checkbox next to Allow Late Submission. This allows students to submit assignments until the class end date that is set in the class settings under Roster. Enter the number of points the assignment will be worth. If you would rather not have the assignment a gradable assignment, select the Ungraded radio button in the Grading Type section. The assignment selects all the students in the class by default. To select only certain students to give the assignment to, click on the pencil icon in the Select Students section. Click on the student names you want to remove from the assignment. Click the Select All or Clear All buttons to add or remove all students from the roster for the assignment. Click the Apply button to save the changes. To provide a specific student or a group of students in a different end date than the rest of the students for the assignment, click on the Add Extension button. Select the students you want to provide the extension for and the date and time. Click the Add Extension button on the pop-up to save the extension settings. Enter any instructions you would like students to read before they complete their assignment. For ebook assignments, click on the Select Pages button to assign certain pages for the students to complete. On the Select Pages pop-up, navigate to the first page you would like to assign and click the Set Start Page button. Then navigate to the last page you would like to include in the assignment and click on the Set End Page button. To set the page selection back to the defaulted selection, click the Reset to Default Pages button. To fully clear the page selection, click the Clear button. Click on the Table of Contents button to easily navigate to another chapter or lesson. Click the Apply Settings button at the bottom to save the page selections. The assignment defaults to being visible for students to access in their assignments list. If you would like to hide the assignment from student view, select the hidden radio button in the assignment visibility section. The gradebook category will default to assignment. If you would like to have additional gradebook categories to select, these can be created under the gradebook. For more information on creating different categories, refer to the Open Learning Platform gradebook resources listed below. If you have more than one class using the same course material, you will have the option to copy the assignment to those classes as well. Under the Copy to Classes section, click on the name of the additional classes from the list available to copy the assignment to those classes. It will automatically assign the assignment to all students in those class rosters. Click the Assign button at the bottom to save the assignment settings and create the assignment. The assignment will show the due date on the course page, in the course calendar, along with it being listed in the list on the assignments page. If the assignment is marked as visible for students, it will also show on their course calendar along with being listed on their assignments page. Now let's go over how to edit an assignment. From the assignments page, click on the assignment name or click on the actions icon to the right of the assignment and select edit from the menu. On the content tab, you have the ability to change the title of the assignment and add or edit any instructions. Depending on the type of assignment it is, you'll also be able to edit the attached content or ebook pages selections for the assignment. Click the Save button before navigating away from the tab. To make changes to the assignment settings, click on the Settings tab. On the Settings tab, you can make changes to the start and end dates and times, the points the assignment is worth, visibility, grading type, gradebook category, the selected students, any extensions, and the Share it with Google Classroom box. Make sure to click Save before navigating away from the tab. From under the Action menu for an assignment, in addition to the Edit option, you can click to View Scores, which will navigate you to the Overview tab of the assignment, or Copy to Classes, which allows you to quickly copy the assignment to other classes you have that are using the same course content. You also have the ability to share the assignment to Google Classroom or delete the assignment. Keep in mind, if you delete an assignment, there is not a way to get it back, so be mindful of which assignments you are looking to delete, as this will also delete scores. For a walkthrough on how to grade assignments, refer to the Open Learning Platform Grade Assignments and Assignment Management Resources listed below. This concludes our look at creating and editing assignments for an open learning course. 
Be sure to look at the other available help materials for more information about using your open learning programs.